Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode on Ark with me and Pebbles. Pebbles has just been chilling out there and Tolls is just, uh, well, he's sightseeing. He's not much use at the moment. He's good for carrying stuff for us, as I've mentioned in the past, but he's not really a great lot of use just yet. He's going to be our transport mount. However, today we are going to try and tame ourselves a trike without having it headbutt us to death. Now, realistically, there are only two decent ways at this level to uh, tame a trike. The first one is to find uh, some rocks about. Now, the only downfall to rocks is really it is trial and error to, to kind of find one that's going to be able to be jumped up at. Obviously, when you try and jump, you've got to make sure you're going to be able to get up to it. The other problem you're going to have is is a trike's hit bar is a little. Uh, it's a little area that it, it, it classes as its hit box. It's a little bigger than yours. So sometimes them that are a little difficult for you to get up are easy for a trike to climb up. So just bear that in mind when you do try and tame a trike using height as your advantage. Uh, the second one, which we're going to use today, which I know I've mentioned that I'm not really entertaining too much on the taming pens, is actually going to be one of these little simple taming pens here. And the reason why I'm doing that is because realistically, at low level, this is probably going to be your easiest way to tame a dinosaur at very relatively low cost. It takes a little bit of time to build. It's a bit of wood. Make sure you build it out of wood because it takes a track a little longer to break it. And all it basically is, is if you notice there's some little foundations down. So to craft it, all we need is the ground wood fence foundation. And then we need the wooden door frame. I tend to use the fence foundation and the door frame because it roughly works out about the same price as the pillar. As you can see, there's three pillars there. And if I wasn't using the walls, I'd have to put a pillar in each corner. That's five pillars for this base of two wooden door frames. So it actually comes out a little bit cheaper. Plus, when you're trying to place down these... Um, I shall build one now if I've got enough. Have I got any materials? Fibre, thatch and wood. So while I carry on talking, I will grab fibre, thatch and wood. So the advantages of using a foundation rather than using the pillar is, is, is you can actually line things up a little easier. It just it makes it that little bit easier to try and control where you're actually placing it. Because when you use the pillars, you also have to try and put the ramps up, which means you need foundations. It just makes it that little bit harder. We have enough now we can. Build a couple. And we'll make our way back over there. So why do we want a trike? Well, the trike is very useful early stage gathering. Uh, mainly for your berries. So you can have pretty much food to sustain yourself for a long period of time. You're also going to need narco berries for future projects and stim berries as well and stuff like that. As you can see, it, it locks and you can rotate it around. It just means that when you place it down, you can then place a wall on top of that. I don't have any walls on me, but you can just place it there and you can, you know, you can put it in a different direction if you want. All you need to do now is put the door frames on each of them and it's lined up perfectly. You can also put the pillows on them, so they are also lined up perfectly. Oh, we got a friend here. Gonna try and rob our stuff. Yo, I'm gonna use a hatchet because we're gonna need the hide. Yo. I think he's probably tried to steal them. I didn't have meat to steal. They tend to go for the meat to steal, but we got ourselves a bit of hide out of that. So yeah, so that's what that's basically made out of, and then the two ramps that are there. So the two ramps are so that the dinosaur can cl climb up, and then it can't get out. Now, I tend to place it a little bit higher, so you've got another layer. As you can see, this pillar here is basically at that next layer up. You can also see the pillar slightly lower than it would be if it was. I think it's not much lower, but just slightly lower than it would be if you had a, another door frame. Uh, so, yeah, usually you can try and do it, that's two levels, but we're going to try and attempt it with just the one level. And hopefully we can get our trike stuck in this, and then we can run out of here. So, let's get our trike over there, and then let's try and get him tamed, shall we? Okay, here we go. These things are terrible. Oh, there we go. Now, I'm not sure what level this trike is. Hopefully he's not too a higher level. Now, what you can do is you can put ramps on both sides if you want to. Obviously, we can't because I placed the pillars there as an example of what the pillars are. Oh, it looks like we've got two trikes. Okay. As you can see that there, I had to jump to get up, but he'll just climb right up it. 
Alright, okay, he's gone quiet now. Is that other track gonna continue? He's gonna potentially try and wreck my building. Level is here. Let's get them both away from the building. Oh, he's charging me. This is the reason why you want speed above everything else. You can see that track is pretty damn close to us. You're gonna get. I don't think he's gonna get tired of us. There we go, he's tired of us. Right, let's try and get this other trike now. That other trike's wrecking our building, but it's fine. It should hold out enough while I get there, and hopefully there's no other trikes about. Oh, he's going around. Right. Come on. That's it. There we go. Whoop. Oh, he launched me. But he's in there, and as you can see, he can just walk right over them pillars. And we're now tired. He's going to launch us again. Okay, it seems that whilst I was going back for my body, he actually got himself stuck in. So we're going to try and tame him. No. Pillars are just too low. So as you can see, the door frames, they block him. And we can keep trying to tame him through the door frames. But as soon as he goes towards them pillars, he just gets pushed back out. So bear that in mind when you're doing your design, your pillars definitely need to be two layers high. We can try and use this as a... His head's not the best in the world. I'll try and get his legs... got his legs now. So we're just going to keep hitting his legs until we knock him out. Now he's a level 6 so it shouldn't take too much to knock him out. Hopefully we won't kill him. Oh, he's moved his leg. Okay, he's now starting to run away and he always runs towards the water. Don't run towards the water. Oh, no. Come back. We also need to repair our... Fiber and thatch. What? Come on, give me some fiber. Now, he should come back to us, hopefully. Generally why it's useful to carry two on you. Now the problem is he could run into another trike, which there's plenty of them around here, so he could potentially bring more trikes to us. He's also be lost. Looks like he's run all the way over there. Let's see if we can get back to him. Now this is the downfall of him not being in that is that he's free to run around. Now, obviously, there's not too many dangers on this part of the island, but there could be, you know, dangers that he could run into quite easily. And now we're struggling to tame him because he's out in the open. We can keep trying to knock him out. But you can't see the concept of trying to tame him. It's basically... There we go, he's out. The concept of trying to tame him is obviously to be able to block him so that he can't run towards you because the damage he's going to cause you is always going to be from the frontal. You know, it speaks for itself or you've got a lot of spikes on it and it's armoured to hell. It's also a lot more armoured against your, your knocking him out with stuff like this. You always aim for the body, ignore the head. But he's going to be tamed, hopefully. See how he does on the taming bar. 
if you remember from last time, the purple bar is how, obviously how long he's going to sleep for, and the, the, the light brown coloured bar is obviously our taming effectiveness. Uh, sorry, our taming. Taming effectiveness is, is how many levels he's going to get out of this. He will more than likely wake up just before we tame him. So, this is where I mentioned before about we can uh, keep him knocked out. So, if we put narco berries on him, we got 20 that we managed to gather. He may tame before he wakes up, but to be a little bit safer, we can feed him the narco berries by pressing E, just like you would eat them yourself. And you see that that purple bar is now increasing again. So he'll be knocked out for longer. The downside to that is your taming effect enough does go down slightly because obviously it's taking you longer to tame him because he's, he's eating the, the narco berries rather than the berries that you're trying to tame him with. Now bear in mind we're not using kibble here, there is a kibble that you can use to tame dinosaurs and we will introduce that at a later stage but early on it's just much easier using the medjo berries. Medjo berries are good for most dinosaurs at this level, most herbivores anyway. Um, so yeah we're going to be using the medjo berries again, just like last time, placing it on, he will eat them himself. Now the downside to us being here is, is we're in an area that we haven't previously looked around so we don't know if there are any other dinosaurs in this area that could kill our triceratops or whether it, it could kill us. Um, so we're gonna we're gonna guard this trike, uh, maybe gather a few more berries and stuff like that just to keep us alive because obviously we're, we're low on food as well. But once we have this track up, we're going to have a look at what we can do to then move on to the next phase with him, where we can ride... Oh, it's a her, sorry, it's a her, it's a she. Female track. So we're going to have a look at what we can do to make a saddle so we can ride her and use her as our first um, harvesting dinosaur. This is why you want to track as one of your first dinosaurs. So, I'll see you all shortly when we've got her tamed. And there we have it, we've got ourselves our first track. Whoop, whoop. I've called our first tribe Big Monkey, named after one of my Patreon followers, and whilst I was just waiting around, a nice passive tame here, Trillibites, which is another Patreon. Um, it's the little doggo that we had last time that seemed to have bugged out the first time I tried to do it. This time worked perfectly, fed them berries, and we managed to get ourselves a little doggo. This is the dog of the Ark World. Now we've got two dinosaurs, I want to get them both back to my base before we do anything else. So I'm going to set the behavior now. We want to change the stance for this to be neutral, so that he won't attack. Sorry, she won't attack um, anybody that we may attack. She'll defend herself, and we want to set her follow to low, so that she's a little closer. Now, the best way to get back across, obviously, is to go over the uh, shallow bit that we went over before. Be wary. Your dinosaurs are slower than you are, especially if you've been pumping stamina like I have. Now, as you can see, the Lysosaurus is very slow. Eat it will take some time to get here. There he is. There she is. It's another female. There she is. Come on then. So now we're going to get both across the shortest route, which is here. We're going to get them back to our base. Now, obviously, I can run across that and so can I. Uh, Wait for the dog. Just takes a minute. Don't try it. Don't lose sight of your dinosaurs because if you lose sight of the dinosaurs, the likelihood is is they'll get stuck on some of the scenery. They'll always try and take the shortest route to get to you. So just bear that in mind. Um, if they disappear from behind, the likelihood is is they are stuck on something. Yeah, uh, looks like really can't swim very well. There we go. Get them back to our base. We're just going to head on back there. Then we'll discuss a couple of things with this dinosaur. Hopefully we can get it a saddle. I think we may need some more, more hide. So if we, once we get back, I'll check on how much hide we need. And then we may have to go on a bit of a hunt. Keep that. Hopefully it'll make it to us. It's a nice straight route. Okay, so while we wait for them to catch up, let's have a look what we need. Right, what, what we need, first of all, is the ability to create a saddle. Is this saddle here? It's level 16. 
So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to level ourselves up because I've been storing my points for the time being. Again, we're just going to pump up that movement speed. Oh, there we go. We've got more engrams to spend now as well. And we should have unlocked level 16. We've got the trike saddle there that we definitely need. There's a few things we can get. Get dinosaur stuff. We can get wooden benches, bookshelves, Aenodon meat packs. Trank arrows, which is definitely what we want. So we'll get the trank arrows now. And we can start looking at doing some other stuff as well. But we'll, we'll just leave that for now. We'll have a look at what we want at a later stage. We'll probably go into something like, you know, some more of the wooden stuff. The compost bin, maybe, if we want to do some planting. But we definitely want to get ourselves some basic necessities. Oh, what's that? Why well, you were afraid then. But we got our dinosaurs here. And we happen to have a trike stuck on our building. Excellent. But it's just... Uh, I've already emptied these inventories, so I can... I can demolish. Just make sure this one's empty as well. That should hopefully... There we go, he's nice and free. Okay, so... First of all, we need to equip a saddle to ride them, but the second thing that we need to make sure is we need to give them some food so that they're not eating the medjo berries. Now, because, well, we're a bit low on berries at the moment, we can just give them that and that should keep them going for now. But we want to get away from using the medjo berries. So let's have a look what we need for our... We need 140 hide and 25 wood. Well, we've got the wooden fiber. Fiber there as well. The first thing I'm going to do is going to tell them all to be still. Because they can't do anything for us right now. We just need to feed them, keep them alive, and then we move to move on. Now, another thing I want to point out is, is someone did mention that my boxes were a little uh, unorganized. I tend not to organize whilst I'm on camera. Because it's just a little annoying watching somebody trying to organize it all. So that's the answer why. But they are all nicely organized. Now, see we've got ourselves some berries that I can now take out of here. Place onto my new dinosaur. I can then take the medjo berries off. And that'll keep the dinosaur nice and happy. We want to check our other dinosaurs. Make sure they've got food as well. You've still only got medjo berries. Now, we want to get away from manually feeding dinosaurs near our base. So that's another thing that we're going to be looking at is a trough for them to eat out of. We're going to pet that every time we can because it'll increase. As you can see, they've now got yellow up arrows. They're now increased in XP. That's why you want one of these. Now, these dinosaurs are going to be annoying wandering around our base, but there's nothing we can do until we start putting walls and stuff up. But by that point, we'll probably move on to a new base anyway. So, I'm going to go off now and I'm going to gather some hide and then we can hopefully get the saddle done and then we can see what this dinosaur can do. Okay, so we spent most of the night and the morning managing to gather ourselves the hide that we need to make our saddle. So we're going to go ahead now and craft the saddle. I hide the uh, wood. Uh, off the top of my head, it's fiber we need. Craft, we can now craft our trike saddle. So like that crafting, we'll just talk about the next thing we want on top of that. Now we're going to be able to gather ourselves a lot of berries with a trike. So we're going to need ourselves somewhere to put our berries for our animals. And what we want there is a feeding trough. So we're going to go ahead and learn our feeding trough at level 18. What do we need with our feeding trough? Well, I've already double checked what we need. And we're going to need fiber, metal, thatch and wood. So I went out. Once I got the hide that I needed, I managed to get myself a bit of metal. We've got the metal that we require. The thatch and wood. Wood. And thatch. Craft our trough. We then place everything else back now that we don't need for the time being. And we'll have that stored for a later date. place our eight little bits of hide that we had left in there we've got our trike and our trough so we're going to place our trough down first because what we collect we're going to want to put some go ahead and place it down place mine just there like so 
Okay, so we can now place this. So you get a 60 slot storage basically for food. Now, as we've only got herbivores, all we're going to put there is um, berries. I'm going to head on over to our big monkey. Place the saddle on her. And now, there's a couple of things we want to look at when we're actually leveling, leveling up a drag. The two that I go for is melee damage and weight. Melee damage because that'll allow you to collect more berries. And wait, so it can carry said more berries. But we've got our first dinosaur that we can ride as well. And it's pretty defensible as well. Not the fastest in the world. If we press left click, it bounces people away. Like so. Right click. You do this little charge thing. You can run a little faster and you can injure people as you're running. Which is useful if you want to get out of a sticky situation. But if we head on over where berries are located, as you can see, look at that. Now, unfortunately, our trike isn't high enough level. It's not going to get tired. But if we just keep up, see, we're getting points here. We can increase our trikes. What we can do is we can obviously increase our trike stamina as well if we want to. But we're getting a fair amount of berries. And it's not really that high either. But we can go around, just left click in. You use a lot of stamina using the uh, right click to charge your run. Obviously you hold on to right click, but as you can see, we're getting levels as well for our trike. Now if you want a little indicator on how you're charging, if you hold on to that right mouse button, you can see just in that right hand corner there, that little indicator, that's how much charge you've got, and then it'll use that charge to charge forward. A little uncontrolling sometimes, but it just gets you to places a little bit quicker. Which is useful to have if you ever want to get out of a sticky situation. So we can now gather as many berries as we want, but we'll go ahead and take what we've got now and head back because uh, she's tired a little bit. There we go. Just take her back here. Off her by the building. We can also place her where we want now. And then we can oh, not do that. If we hold on to E, we can go to the access inventory. Level up what we want. I want to again level up weight. But we've got tons of stuff now that we can we can use. So we can go ahead and I'm just going to take all of the same here. I'm going to concentrate on just the berries. We're encumbered. And then I'm going to go over to my trough and then I'm going to place everything into my trough like so. And I'm going to do that for the next slot any of the seeds at the moment i'm just going to press o on them and drop all the seeds out because i don't need the seeds we're not at a stage where we're growing seeds so just drop o and then whatever's left we can transfer over and then transfer it over to here and then our last few now what this is going to be now it'll take Narco berries, but realistically, you don't really want them in your trough. But it's got 30 slots, uh, sorry, 60 slots, and we're only using 18, so we'll keep them in there for now. I believe it extends the life of these berries as well, so they don't get as. Um, they don't spoil as quickly, which is useful for us. But it will put, as it says here, put food in, in for your nearby pets in this, and they'll automatically eat it when they get hungry. So now we've got a means to keep our pets fed. We've also got a means to fill in that with our new. Right, and we're going places. So that's it for today. Uh, hopefully, you've learned something about leveling up. Try remember the point of the uh, pillars, or the, or if you're placing it so small that sometimes they can run over it, just to increase that up to two tiers, just so you're uh, you're a little easier. But hopefully, that helps out getting your trike. But until next time, everybody, take care for now. I'll see you on the next one. Bye bye for now.